of January 1st, 2023, the following things will go into effect, and people need to be aware of this. It abolishes cash bail for almost every offense. This includes, but isn't limited to, kidnapping, armed robbery, second degree murder, drug-induced homicide, aggravated DUI, threatening a public official, and aggravated fleeing and eluding. Offenders released on electronic monitoring have to be in violation for 48 hours before law enforcement can act. They could almost drive to Alaska before we can even look for them. It denies victims their constitutional rights. And keep this in mind, businesses and homeowners, officers will no longer be able to remove trespassers from your resident, residence or your businesses. Someone could decide to live in your shed and all we can do is give them a ticket. You have to decide what level of force is required to remove them and whether or not it's legal. As of January 1st, 2023, the following things will go into effect. And the Illinois delegation signed into law the Safety Act. The I've yet to hear anyone give a credible, reasonable explanation as to why that law is being passed. One explanation is this, that you have people sitting in jail for months waiting for their trial only to discover that the person never should have been in jail in the first place. The antecedent is that the wrong person was falsely accused and arrested. That's what needs to be fixed. What also needs to be fixed is the clogging up of the courts and that is tied strictly to the corruption that we have in our judicial system. So again, that's what needs to be fixed. You've heard me talk about cascading effects. For instance, you have a system that's unified. You have a problem in one area and you're trying to fix it. And so you put a band-aid on it. Not recognizing that what you're doing in that area is going to affect the entire system to fail. This law is going to have a cascading effect. And what it's going to do is take a broken system and make it worse. What will come out of this is a further disregard for law, order, and authority. The mistaken belief that we're not accountable for our actions, that there are no consequences to our actions. We've seen over the last six years how law, order, and authority has been under attack, especially male authority. And they've used the black community to leverage that anti-sentiment. They're trying to create within our people a despising of law, order, and authority. And you've heard me say before, a people who have no regard for law, order, and authority can never rise as a people. So this law, all it's doing is placing a further yoke on our necks. It's not liberating us. It's not about justice. Solomon, the wisest man who ever lived, said this, that the hearts of the sons of men are quick to do evil because justice is slow. If we think we're not held accountable for our actions, that will have a cascading effect throughout our community. It's another Trojan horse. It sounds good that I ain't got to pay bail. But my question is, should I have even been arrested in the first place? The Illinois following things will go into effect, and people need to be aware of this. It abolishes cash bail for almost every offense. This includes, but isn't limited to, kidnapping, armed robbery, second-degree murder, drug-induced homicide, aggravated DUI, threatening a public official, and aggravated fleeing and eluding. Offenders released on electronic monitoring have to be in violation for 48 hours before law enforcement can act. They could almost drive to Alaska before we can even look for them. It denies victims their constitutional rights. And keep this in mind, businesses and homeowners, officers will no longer be able to remove trespassers from your resident, 
residents or your businesses. Someone could decide to live in your shed and all we can do is give them a ticket. You have to decide what level of force is required to remove them and whether or not it's legal. This is a, as of January 1st, 2020.